Hey B-Siders, welcome, welcome to a brand new episode of my podcast. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to have another amazing guest on today to talk about all things music, life and everything else. So stay tuned for that to happen. Um, but before we dive into that, as usual, I just want to introduce you to my guest and let them talk a little bit more about what they do so you can get a really good feel for who that person is. And then it's all about the focus will then shift all about to music. But first, let's welcome my guest. Hello, Bonnie. Hello. How are you? Thanks for coming on. Hi, Bridget. Uh, uh, thank you for having me on your podcast. I'm pleased to be here. I'm eager to talk about my favorite songs and how they help me with uh, my music and my business and my life. Excellent. Can't wait for that. But before we do, let me just share a little bit with my audience um, what you do, and then you can add on a little bit at the end if you feel like there's something you want to highlight. But um, yeah, I know that you're a mindset, life, and gratitude coach. Um, you're based in Central Florida. Nice. Seems to be warm all the time over there. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Very hot. It's like 95 degrees right now at five o'clock in the afternoon. So very hot. I've got to convert that to Celsius because we don't... Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to convert that after. <laughs> right, I can't figure that out. I, uh, not for me to figure out time zones. I can't convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. I know. We'll leave that for now. We'll figure it out after. Um, right. You're also the owner of Rock Solid Mindset Life and Gratitude Coaching, where you help empower midlife women to say bon voyage. I love the French bit in there. Yes. The shackles in their mind so they can live the life they truly desire and want and dream of. You've also a five-time Amazon best-selling author. You're going to be on many more podcasts, I'm sure. And you also do seminars and workshops. So quite a bit, but it sounds really, really fascinating. So is there anything else you want to share before we dive into the rest of the podcast? Yeah, I, I think you, you got it really, really well. You know, it's, you know, since my name is Bonnie and the Bon Voyage works very well. So I like to say, you know, hey, you know, I hope women say bon voyage or shackles in their mind to stop them from living a life to their dreams, exactly what you said. So mm -hmm. I think that, you know, and, you know, I'm 57 myself and I have a lot of friends my age. And sometimes it seems like you get to this age and you could be a widow or you could be divorced and your kids have moved on and gone out of the, ho of the house. And you're like, is that all there is to life? What, what's next for me? Mm -hmm. So I said, there's a lot left for you. You know, a lot of people live to be 90 or 100 years old now, and there's a lot of life left to live. You're just you're just starting out, and you know, some people at my age are starting new businesses. They're going back to school. They're doing all sorts of stuff. They're volunteering. So it's like, yeah, just because you're at a certain age, I don't want you to be treading water, just staying stagnant, just doing one thing. I want you to get out there. What's the life you're doing? What did you, when you were younger? What did you want to be when you grew up? Mm -hmm. Did you fulfill that dream? If not, let me help you fulfill that dream. Mm, beautiful. I think that's really needed because that's probably an age still where the stigma is around it. That, that's it for you. You're done. Right. So I'm glad people like you exist who want to change that. So heads off Thank to you. you for doing that. Now, you told us now what you do, which is fascinating. And, um, needed as I said but this podcast is all about the music side of things so my first right. question to you is you know music what does it mean to you how important is it for you well I really like music I like to listen to a lot of different type of music although you don't want to see me dance or hear me sing because that's not going to be a pleasant experience so I got to do that on my own I like all types of music I like mm -hmm. um um oldies you know doo-wop disco country i'm a huge country music fan mm -hmm. i've yeah so like i said you don't want to see me dance that's not going to be a pleasant experience <laughs> but you know i like to i like music that means something when you hear the the lyrics of the song it kind of mm -hmm. takes you back because i listen to a song now and it takes you back to when i was in high school going roller skating every friday night i guess i remember the moves we did i uh, out there roller skates on the rink doing the ymca and stuff like that Back then, I had some moves, and I could and I could dance really well on roller skates, and I was on the speed team. I was really good. Yeah. Now, not so much <laughs> anymore. But you hear a song, and it takes you back. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, that's it takes yeah. you back to memories, you know, definitely. 
Yeah. And do you feel like also it's sometimes when you sort of think back, it kind of brings you back to what you wanted out of life and it gives you a bit of encouragement to keep pursuing that, even though you're like, you know, further ahead in life? Yeah, uh, I'd go roller skating every Friday night in high school. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, what, what did I want out of life then? And what am I doing now? My life is totally different than I ever thought it would be. <laughs> That's definitely for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's like, yeah, um, and I try to work with, I work more with older people now. I don't want to really say older, but like midlife. Yeah. But I also like talking to people in their 20s and 30s because I see people that, you know, they're 25, 26, they sleep half the day and then they want to watch TV the rest of the day and they say mm. they're bored, there's nothing to do. It's like, if you're bored now, what are you going to be doing in 20, 30, 40 years? It's like, no, there's a big wide world out there. Mm -hmm. Let me help you figure out, you know, what it is that you want to do with your life. So you don't get to be bored and treading water and like, oh, what's going on? I'm 32 years old and I have no ambition. Now let me, let me help you get the ambition mm -hmm. to live the life of your dreams. It makes you happy. I want you to do stuff to light you up when you wake up in the morning, you're eager to get out of bed and, and slay the day and just get rocking and get rocking and all of basically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I remember when I was in my twenties, I used to go dancing a lot, like in, in clubs or I used to go to dance school and you know, there's so much you can do, even if it's not your main thing yeah and it helps you mentally and physically as well so it puts you in a better mindset and it might trigger something that you want to do with your life so yeah I agree it's not necessarily I mean I had phases where I hang, was hanging out on the couch a lot but yeah it wasn't the main thing that I did so uh, for me music was always a big strong pull to actually get off my butt and do something so definitely yeah, definitely I agree with you yeah so you said you like all sorts of music, obviously, but the main question, not main, but one of the big questions I have is, do you kind of use music in your business to help, obviously, women at a more mature age to kind of, you know, help them focus or do anything? Is that something you use? Yes, I do. Um, so, sometimes I use the phrase, I am the wind beneath your wings mm. by um, Bat Midler. Um, I can't even think of the name of the song right now. Wind Beneath the Wings, I think, is the name of the song. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Went right out of my head, yeah. And um, it's like, yeah, I help you to get where you want to be. I'm like underneath you, pushing you up, helping you spread your wings to do what it is you want to do. Because you can listen to a song, and I can listen to a song, and we both can interpret it totally different ways. Maybe mm -hmm. today I'll interpret the song one way, but next week I'll interpret it a different way, depending on my mood. Yeah. But when you really think of the lyrics and you look at the lyrics, you kind of dissect them and stuff like that. And you're like, yeah, because there's a lot of songs by a lot of different artists. But I can kind of take some of that and use in almost any circumstance, depending on what's going on. I'm a big country music fan. I love Jody Messina. She's got a lot of cool songs that, that I could use, too. But mm -hmm. Wind Beneath My Wings is one of my top favorite songs, you know. Yeah, that's an absolutely beautiful song love it too and the message behind the song as well is so fitting for what you're doing oh. you know so I, I I love that you're using that that's just brilliant and it's something you can actually visually imagine too that you're right. there sitting in the lift up so that's beautiful you could use that more in your in your um social media so you just say well, yeah, that, that, that's what I should do. Yeah, how, how, how I lift people up and I help them to spread their own wings. Yeah. It's like, yeah, just kind of push you out of the nest a little bit, spread your own wings. Yeah, you got the wings now, you got to learn to fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got the wings, learn to fly, fly, fly so high. Yeah, you don't want me to start singing, but fly so high that you almost touch the sky. You know, yes. now I have to go listen to the song and put headphones on and start singing it. So I have to go outside for a while. Nobody around. <laughs> That's the effect <laughs> it can have being on my podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Have you seen a movie that goes with that song? Yeah, Speeches, yes. Yeah. That's a classic, isn't it? It's really amazing. Yeah, you know, friendship they met in summertime on the mm -hmm. beach. Yeah, you know, like eight years old, and then they got back together 20, 30 years later and just best friends till the end. And it's like really good, really sad part mm -hmm. of it. But it's really cool that I mean, I, I have friends that I've known since high school. We've known each other 40 some odd years, mm -hmm. 45 plus years. And it's 
when we talk about, you know, we grew up on the same street, went to the same high school, and it's like, wow, this is what's going on over here now. This is what we're doing now. And it's like, it's really mm. cool to kind of go back down, you know, memory lane sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's nice to see that, you know, there's a, this kind of a movie and a song that yeah. exists that sort of highlights that friendships can last forever through thick and thin and we can be there for each other. And I just love the kind of message that, that's behind it. Right. And you can adapt it, like you said, to business and and um, personal relationships. So power of, of songs and lyrics and all that. Definitely, mm. definitely. Is there any other songs that you might use um, in other situations with clients or yourself? Is there anything you do apart from just that one particular song? Um, yes, Jodie Messina, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. one of her songs is Bring On The Rain. Mm -hmm. And it's part of the lyrics are, you know, I'm thirsty anyway, and tomorrow's another day, so bring on the rain, which is kind of like, Give me all you got. Give me everything you got, and I can take it. And I'll come back tomorrow, and I'll fight stronger. You know, nice. I'm re I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Another song of hers that I really like is "Burn," mm -hmm. and it's like, I want you to burn for me, baby. I want you to burn for me, which is like, I don't want you to back me up for whatever I'm doing. I'm gonna mm -hmm. burn for you too. Mm -hmm. I want to have the support, stand mm -hmm. beside me. I don't want you in front of me. I don't want you behind me. I want you beside me, helping me mm -hmm. along. Mm -hmm. So I can go off on Jody Messina for a long time and stuff. I actually met her in person, all family in person, numerous times. So I can really talk a lot about a lot of her songs, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, but basically, we kind of listen to a lot of the lyrics and stuff. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, give me everything you've got, and mm -hmm. I'll come back for more, and I'll just mm -hmm. keep fighting. I'll definitely keep fighting. Yeah. Sounds like you're listening to a lot of songs that have these sort of encouraging, fighting type of lyrics. Is that what kind of keeps you going when you have a tough day as well? Yeah, sometimes it's like stuff happens and you feel like really bad or you feel down about something. Mm. And then you think of, of these different songs and, and what the, maybe the people went through mm -hmm. um, as they were like writing the song. And maybe like the first time you heard the song, something kind of clicked inside of your head. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, and I can take, you know, a lot of different songs and adapt them to a lot of different scenarios. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, you know, the wind beneath your wings is kind of um, about um, pushing you up. And then mm -hmm. the stand beside me is I'm going to stay with you mm -hmm. through thick and thin, and I'm going to help you as much as I can. I'm, I'm going to burn for you, which means I'm going to support you for every little thing you've got. You know, and that's my job as a coach and as a friend to mm -hmm. support you and see what, you know, you want to do. And sometimes I talk to people when they're not sure really what they want to do. I ask them a few questions. I'm, I'm like a two-year-old sometimes. Well, why? <laughs> why do you want to do that? Why do you yeah, want to do yeah. it? You know, I got to peel the onion and go all the way down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had a client get on his very first podcast. And that wasn't something a few months ago he was even thinking about. And now he's done his first podcast, which is going to lead to more. Amazing. And it's going to just, you know, get the ball rolling. Because if I help one person, they help one person, they help one person. And it and it boomerangs and it snowballs and it blows up and does volcanoes or <laughs> whatever yeah. saying you want to use for that, you know? It's like a ripple effect, isn't it? So Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Ripple effect, yeah. Exactly. And that's what I find the beauty of if you have like, you obviously have like a theme song that you're using. Um, and I find that, or maybe even three now, by the sound yeah, of it. Yeah. yeah. And I find that fascinating that just one three or four minute piece of music can kind of have that ripple effect indirectly on oh, whatever yeah. you do. So it's very right. strong. And I think music has been around for, for so ever since we were around. Yeah. So it's amazing. Wow. Definitely. Congratulations to your client too. That's amazing. First book of Thank you. I feel like a proud mama. And I let my coach know that he did that. I said, you should feel like a proud mama too because of you. Yeah. I was doing these things and now he's doing this. And I got other people getting into podcasts and stuff. Mm -hmm. And who asked me if I want to be a podcast host? I said, probably not. However, I'm more than happy to be a podcast guest for a long time. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you think... Um, 
I'm just thinking about, you know, when we sort of chatting, do you think that people should have more theme songs in their life that they can use for their mindset and gratitude and things like that? I think so. I think sometimes if you get down about something, maybe think of a song and it could pull you out because you wake up in the morning and you're grumpy and stuff. Pop in your favorite song. If they're like not even five minutes long. Listen to that. Think about the person and stuff that's singing it and why they're singing it. And that should bring you, you know, right out. Mm-hmm. You got to have a, a method in the morning to have a, you know, rock solid day. You know, have a couple things you do in the morning to have a rock solid day. Since my business is rock solid mindset, life, and gratitude coaching, Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. And one of my mantras is rock bottom to rock solid. So I like the rock solid stuff. So I I use that quite a bit, you know. We've got to find a song that that kind of fits with that too. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. I got to like Google songs that have rock solid in them or something like that. (laughs) <laughs> we'll do that afterwards. We'll both hop on Google. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> wow. Is there any other things that you remember where music kind of played a big part in your life? Or is there something that you might want to integrate a bit more in the future that will be interesting to know? Um, I'm not sure. There's Sometimes you don't really know until it happens. And then you hear a song and you're like, oh, wait a minute. Let me look this up. Let me look at the lyrics. And, Sometimes you can actually kind of take a, several different songs and kind of mix the lyrics up and put this part over here, this part over there. Mm. And like, you know, one of Jody Messina's very first song was Heads Carolina, Tails California. Mm-hmm. And then the song, she and her boyfriend are going to flip a coin, became a pedge, are going to California, Tails Carolina. And it's like, let's just, and that kind of thing is like, hey, let's just do it. Let's just go out and do something. We're not mm-hmm. going to like make a total plan or anything. We're just going to like kind of fate decide where we're going to go, mm-hmm. what we're going to do. And then we're going to just go off on an adventure. So I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. Because that's mm. something that, that I plan on doing pretty soon. Saving my money to buy a van, mm-hmm. fix it up on the inside and live in it. I'm driving around the United States and Canada, being a digital nomad, being an inspirational speaker and talking to people in different areas, you know, mm-hmm places I go I want to help the homeless and disadvantaged different areas I go mm-hmm. so it's like I'll just flip a coin and whoever comes up I know friends in all the states and say okay who, who do I know in this state that can tell me where I could speak at and stuff and I'll go on a road trip and meet people all over the place you know and I'm sure along the way you'll get lots more um, inspiration through local artists maybe even as well yeah most maybe definitely you know, definitely good musicians out there and stuff so <laughs> yeah Definitely. That sounds really amazing. And you know, with a good road trip, you have to have a good playlist. So get thinking. <laughs> yeah, boy, I, I have a long playlist I'm thinking about. And stuff, oh, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> now, you mentioned to me before we hopped on the call that you're currently doing a, is it a gratitude challenge? It's a manifestation challenge. Manifestation. Sorry, yeah, I got that wrong. Um, yeah. is that, do you think is that something when you do manifestation? Could you use like meditation with that? Is that how you do it? Because obviously with meditation, sometimes you have sounds that go with it. Is that how it's done? Right. Um, we have a like a 15, 16 minute YouTube video that we listen to in the morning mm-hmm. and at night. We set our intention at the beginning of the month mm-hmm. about what it is we want to manifest. Mm-hmm. We listen to the tape and we start thinking about, you know, what can we do to manifest it? Obviously, if you set the intention, put it out there. Mm-hmm. This is what you want to do. This is why. You know, I can't just listen to the tape and not do anything to help manifest. I have to go out and do stuff. But having that, like, kind of going through my head during the day when I'm not really mm-hmm. aware of it, saying, yeah, this is, and I and I manifested something yesterday. Where we even really started, we just had, like, a call a Zoom mm-hmm. call to go over everything, and I manifested something later. And I told my friend who's in charge of it, and she said, "She said, yeah, put this in a group wow. that you already manifested." And I said, "Yeah, cool." Wow, that's you awesome. know, so it's amazing what like a fifty-minute sound file or whatever, setting your intention, yeah. taking action can do. So, Definitely wonderful. Well, I hope it all goes really well, and by the end of it, you've manifested a lot of new things too. Yeah, I definitely have. And 
I feel that since I am the type of person that tries to, you know, help other people out mm. and I try to stay positive and do different things, even though I'm personally going through a difficult situation myself, I'm still reaching out to other people and doing stuff. So therefore I have people reach out to me mm-hmm. and help me. Mm. So, but if I would be sitting back complaining, moaning, crying, complaining all the time about stuff, that wouldn't happen. Mm. But people see that I'm doing things to help myself, so they're going to try to help me get get better because they see that, you know, I'm serious and I'm committed and stuff like that. So mm. they're like, I want you to be able to help even more people. Yeah, that's that's the way to go for sure. Absolutely agree with you. And I always feel like, you know, what you're putting out there is good energy and that's kind of a vibration. So it will come back to you, which in essence to me is sound. Right. So, yeah, I keep coming back to this kind of music, sound, energy type of thing. So that fascinates me, which is probably the manifestation piece as well, if, you know. Yeah, because you when you're listening to it, but you don't have to like sit there and actually listen and kind of do something else while you're doing it. Mm. But it's going into your subconscious and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it's, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. And then I don't know exactly how all this stuff kind of works sometimes. But it's like, you know, if you put it out there and you let people know this is what you want, people are more than willing to help you get what it is you want because then it makes them feel good. Like mm. with my client getting his podcast, it made me feel just as good as him because yeah. he, I helped him do that. And then whenever somebody does something good, you, you know, you celebrate them yeah. and you say, hey, congratulations, great job. And if you're always asking people, what can I do to help you? What do you mm-hmm. need me to do? Do you need me to introduce you to somebody? Do you need me to share mm-hmm. a post? Do you need me to look something up for you? What do you need me to do to help you? Mm-hmm. And, you know, people appreciate that because a lot of people like me, 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 I'm not doing anything unless somebody you know, pays me or this or that or the other. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to help anybody. Well, yeah. eventually it's going to come back and bite you in the butt. So if you go around helping other people all the time, people are going to be willing to help you. Good vibes only. Hey, good vibes only. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> now, um, I love the, and everything you sort of state and my end comes across as you really want to be that wind beneath some beneath anyone's wings really and you'll you'll do whatever you can to make that happen so I can clearly see why that is sort of your song that you go to a lot absolutely Um, apart from that is I always ask you a question at the end of an interview um, if you had to describe your life and your business with one song which one would it be but I think we've already covered it but unless there's another one you can think of no I can't really, no, I can't can't really think of another one. oh maybe Patsy Klein crazy so crazy all right why is that uh just just because my life is crazy now I'm right. I'm homeless I know we talked about this the last time we had a call I am homeless I am working hard not to be homeless but I'm mm. also saying hey look if I could be doing this being on podcasts going to a big podcast conference, helping other people get, do that, yeah. having my business going, setting up my Vision for Your Life program, mm-hmm. setting up a year-long coaching program. If I can do all this when I'm homeless, think what I can do if I have a roof over my head. I can actually do podcasts in a quiet place and not have to scrunch myself up in a corner or worry about lighting and noise in the background, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You, you spot on there. I think a lot of us people would have to stop whinging and just get on with it and be grateful for what we have. That's right. I tell people, be grateful for what you do have. Don't dwell on what mm-hmm. you don't have. Reframe your negatives into positives mm-hmm. and just be happy that you woke up this morning because a lot of people didn't. So be grateful for you, what you've got going on, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <sighs> Well, that was a wonderful chat. Thank you so much for sharing everything you have. Um, yeah, there's, there's so many things I'm taking away from our chat and I'm sure my listeners will too. Um, I will obviously put all your details in the episode description so people can reach out to you if okay. you know they want coaching, they want you to have, you know, whatever they need. Um, if they just yep. want to get in touch and connect with you, it's all going to be there. So please do so because Bonnie is an absolutely lovely and amazing lady. So, yeah, anything else you want to say before we end 
this interview today. No, just let me know if you want me to help you set up a vision for your life. I actually have a program called Vision for Your Life where I combine mm -hmm. a uh, vision board and the wheel of life. Mm -hmm. It's unique because I color code the wheel of life. So you oh. can see exactly what parts of your of your um, life you need to work on the most out of the eight ones that we do. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to contact me about that, then mm -hmm. they can do that and we'll get that rocking and rolling. Fantastic. Well, thanks again, Bonnie, for coming on. And um, yeah, thanks, Beesiders, for tuning into another episode. It's been a special one today for sure. And yeah, I shall talk to you again in my next one. Until then, keep on dancing and keep on rocking. And until then, bye. Thank you very much.